you have been uh, adamant that there should be a some degree of uh, coordination with the CFTC and you about trying to make it so that we have a more clarity, let's say, on uh, cryptocurrency. Where Where is the state of play crypto right now? Look, this, this is a highly speculative asset class. Uh, we've known this for uh, a long time. The ups and downs of this speculative uh, asset class, Bitcoin, and hundreds of other tokens. And many of these tokens uh, offer the investing public, uh, or the investing public is hoping, I should say, hoping for a return. Just like when they invest in, in other uh, financial assets, we call securities. And many of these financial assets, crypto financial assets, uh, have the key attributes of a security. So some of them, they're under the Securities and Exchange Commission. Some, like Bitcoin, and that's the only one, Jim, I'm going to say, uh, because I'm not going to talk about any one of these tokens, but sure, uh, my predecessors and others have said they're, they're a commodity. Working together, there's two great market regulators in this country. I had the honor to chair the CFTC, a terrific agency, I have the honor now to chair the Securities and Exchange Commission. A little bit different remits, a little bit different approaches, but working together with the banking regulators as well. There's there's uh, work to be done there around what's called stable coins. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done to really protect the investing public. And many of these tokens right now um, are trying to operate. Uh, they're, they're, they're potentially non-compliant, and I'll leave it at that, Jim. Okay, well, one of the things that I, I love about what you've uh, always believed in is transparency. You mentioned stablecoin. I did not bring that up. But there is one uh, that is regarded as being perhaps uh, not as transparent as we'd like, which is called Tether. And it's very big, about $60 billion. If they told us what they were really in, what they had their money in, wouldn't, wouldn't that be better for everybody? Look, transparency is a key part of the investing uh, formula. It's kind of part of the basic bargain that you, you get to, on a quarterly basis, know something about the companies. And if material events happen, uh, like they do all the time, then companies make additional filings called 8K filings, and the public gets to decide what risks they want to take. That's the basic bargain. Similar to stable coins, we have something called money market funds. And in money market funds, you get to see what's underneath the hood, what's, what's really below that one-to-one -one relationship where in a money market fund, the public has come to understand that, except for in very unusual times, uh, they get a dollar for a dollar. Uh, or at banks. Banks as well. Uh, stable coins have similarities to bank deposits, that, that you have something standing behind that uh, relationship. Okay, well, uh, one of the things that happened, and I sure hope that, you, that that clarity and transparency occur, but one of the things that happened, at least in many of our lives, I, I've had all, uh, all my life had my money with Fidelity. And they came out and they said, look, you can put your Bitcoin in 401k. It was a seminal moment because if 401k is made for securities, you put Bitcoin in and suddenly that kind of endorsement makes us feel very comfortable, Mr. Chairman, with the asset that is Bitcoin. Are we too comfortable? Look, there's there's a lot of risk in. In, in crypto, there's also risk in the classic securities markets. What we have in the U.S. is we have this concept that you have market regulators like the CFTC and SEC to help protect the public against fraud and manipulation in the markets. And when there's a group of entrepreneurs that are selling something to the public, who are saying to the public, come here, come hither, we've got this great <laughs> idea, that, that when you do that, You've got to have basic disclosures, full and fair disclosures. That's what right. the SEC does. That's that's what we do really well. It's less so, you know, in the oil markets or the wheat markets that the CFTC has. And and so that's what we have. And right now you have hundreds, if not thousands, of these crypto tokens that have the basic attributes of raising money from the public and having a group of entrepreneurs that you might have on your show saying, come hither. 
We've, mm -hmm. we've, got, we've got a good idea for you. And, and that's okay in America if you comply with the laws. And we've got, unfortunately, a lot of projects that are non-compliant. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.